When I'm feeling down I can't win For a strong cup of coffee And I tune in I'm waking on up Java with Jim And now I know my best day Can begin Yeah Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, Broker Associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my good friend, Jasmine Starr, who is a group home expert. She teaches a mentoring program and she will give you a free 15-minute consultation. If you're trying to buy a house right now, turn it into a group home, looking to make fat stacks of cash, you're going to need to have a heart also. Am I right, Jasmine? And you, Yes, absolutely. There's many ways you can go wrong. Uh, and if you haven't seen uh, the whole week's worth of, of shows, go back to yesterday, day before, etc. You're going to learn a lot. But Jasmine, I've got a question. There are grants out there, uh, correct? And how would I get a grant to start a group home? Yes, yes, great question. I was multiple grants to start up. You know, it's grants that's called project grants that's funding to get you going right away uh, with, you know, getting the things you need for your group home business. You know, and those things go off projection. So I would say in order to get that, um, just look at all expenses that you will be enduring and then write all those things down on a business plan and start to apply. OK. And uh, is there do you hold their hand as they apply because i'm going to guess the grant writing is a whole specialty in itself correct absolutely and and even with that so i am over you and i'm shadowing you through that process um also i do open you up to more immediate funding to get started right away so utilizing a community for funds as well so it's not grant funding but it's still federal funding oh wow okay so you you seem like the one stop shop if somebody wants to learn this business. Am I right? Absolutely, absolutely. You can be able to again get all the tools that you need to be successful inside of my mentorship workshop. Wonderful. And may I ask how much the mentorship costs? Absolutely. So I do my coaching. It's six months long, and I do charge twenty five hundred dollars. Um, payment plans are available with that as well too. If that's not that much, how many hours of training do they get? So we go live once a week. Uh -huh. um, we go um, one to two hours that week, and you are provided homework. Um, by the end of the training, you may be a Medicaid provider, depending on the demographic that you choose. Um, I also do make you a child care provider if that's something you want to do with transitional housing. So, so many things, you know, by the time you leave. And then also hot leads for properties. So if someone is looking for that property, then we have that, you know, per your area. And we're even closing it out so you to get that property too. Wonderful. Okay. And then if you've got some people looking for a property up uh, in Northern California, you know where to go. So Absolutely. Yes, yes, she is. Cool. We're, we're selling a, a property that was a transitional living home and our guy, He's moved almost all of the guys out to different homes and he's got one more guy that has to find a place to live. So uh, hopefully that's going to happen uh, very, very soon. Uh, otherwise, we, we might never close this escrow. Anyway, no, we are going to get... <laughs> we're, we're... I also do have... A lot of people do struggle with bringing clients in. Uh -huh. So I provide filling services to get you filled out and with the training with that too. So you don't know exactly how to treat your clients and all of the operational paperwork to keep you going the strong as well too. That's amazing because what people are really doing, I would say if somebody's paying you the $2,500, they're using your 10,000 hours of experience to make themselves an expert uh, because you could go broke the day you start in this business, or you could uh, get sued and nobody wants either of those things. And just calling our, our friend Jim Felipe, it could cost you $5,000 to fight a lawsuit. Why not pay Jasmine 2,500 to keep yourself out of court and 
uh, spending some money. Am I right? Yes, <laughs> that is correct. And uh, so, uh, so anyway, I, Jasmine, it's been a great week talking to you. Uh, anytime we can refer you any business, we will. And anytime you can refer us, uh, anybody that's looking for uh, a, a nice big house to put a lot of people in, I'd be more than happy to help them find something. So I love that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Thank you, Jasmine.